lawyering time. Hello, welcome. Uh, last. Oh, my control is not on. There we go. It's still low battery. I put this thing with charge and it wasn't charging at all. Okay, fantastic. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, last time we uh we got an episode. We finished episode two. Um, find out that Mia is just gonna stick around as a ghost for who knows how long. Um, and now Maya, and now we're it's instead of Mia, Faye and Co. It's now Wright and Co. And now we have a new our first case by ourselves. Uh, with 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 uh, Maya. Um, and we're helping out a samurai. A, a television samurais, yes, it, all that jazz. Yeah, waifu ghost Mia, love her, helping us out. Uh, let's examine this area. There's some regular suits in the, among the costumes here. Okay, that's the this dot. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. And I can't believe we didn't fix that typo. Those must be his own clothes. What is this? It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were wearing one for yourself. God. That's not the weirdest thing I've seen anyone wear in this game. They always have mirrors like this in the dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky. Just how I like it. Oh, at least he recognizes his hair is very spiky. Yes. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh! This is the way they use in Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No. How could you tell the name of the show just by looking at the wig? I, um, kind of like Samurai movies. Kind of? Fantastic. Oh, a bag. Is there money in it? Hmm? This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! What do you mean, don't open that? We're in this room! How much more? Uh, like, what is the line here, Nick? Like, we're kind of in this room, going through his things. Uh, I, I mean, the, the one thing we're not gonna do is open the bag. Employee card key. That must be Power's. It's a Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow? We are borrowing this key. It is fine. <laughs> I wonder what else is inside Power's bag. Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. I'm sorry. We we've we've stolen other things for the sake of evidence. We stole that screwdriver, the wiretap. I mean, it was illegal, but still, we we we, we stole it. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. I must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? You borrowed it, Bobby. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm hmm. Borrowed. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Harry Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Yeah, the, the Phoenix Wright universe is just like. Oh, I guess Ace Attorney Universe is just like, hey, yeah, I, I found this wiretap. It belonged to the, to this lady. And it's like, no one saw you take that. I guess they're just going to believe you. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess this is, it is kind of dusty outside. I feel like the this is all we needed. So we can go now. Yes. Let's head on out. I gotta keep moving. No, do not talk to the lady. We don't need to talk to her right now. No, we don't need to talk to Mr. Gumshoe right now. Uh, oh yeah. I think, uh, examine. There we go. Now we can go in. The entrance of Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Oh no, this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened. All right, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. <laughs> All right, see you. See you later, Mr. Gumshoe. Talk to him already. October 16th, Studio One. There's uh, where the body used to be. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. You good? Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? 
a white tape. It's so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. You know, the dude has a name, right? He calls him the evil magistrate. They outlined where Jack Hammers' body lay with tape. His body was still found inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head looks like a helmet. When I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. There's a ladder. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on the narrow minded cultural assumptions, Nick. R right. Sorry. This girl is out there. <laughs> I don't know why you call it a step ladder. <laughs> I mean, I guess, oh, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton, probably. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. She's trying to steal it. Because it has steps. I guess so. I guess you're right. I mean, a ladder as well has steps, but sure. Hey, you don't touch it now. Oh, oh it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice lady. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm s sorry, my partner kind of, uh... You know, no, no, I don't know. No, they have rungs. I guess there's, uh, yeah, I guess there is a difference between steps and rungs. Yeah, they're very tiny. The rungs, I assume, are very tiny. Getting into the philosophical debate between ladders and step ladders, I swear. Um, who are you? Uh, who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers, representing Mr. Willpowers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Willpowers. WP, I get it. I don't envy, envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be t too innocent. Don't worry. Leave it to us. Oh, I, a, a new person. Let's talk to this person. Day of the crime. Where were you? Can you tell me anything about the day of the murder, Penny? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. <laughs> you see the security guard in the back like, Oh, wow, insane. She's suspicious. She knows something. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area, that where, that's where Will's power, uh, that's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. All 40 people were there, so she was back there as well. She, she, she's in the shot as well. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP going to the dre his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? What kind? No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So I'm sure getting confirmation on Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have the photograph. Hmm. I've heard that this uh, series takes place in the, the far future of like the 20s, the two, 2020s. I'm not too sure about that. I only heard that from one person. And so, uh, you think they would have video cameras in the future? 
I assume back then uh, that was the future. Now it's pretty much just current day. But you think they have video cameras that, I don't know, record. I guess this place is so down and it's like that they can't afford a video camera. They have to afford cameras that take photos of things. But sure, okay. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're just sort of faffing around hoping we get the, you know, the clues. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Calm down. Calm down. Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just afternoon, I sensed someone was there. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. <sighs> I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Sensing someone. Well, to be fair, all we have to go on is that she sent somebody was, that didn't belong was here. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio. Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. <laughs> Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into that studio, she must have seen them. That's, just, that's all we can really... Hey, we present anything to her? Um, got uh... Yo, you want to see this guide map? Oh, many thoughts about this. Sorry, I don't really want to think too much about what happened just yet. I understand. Yeah. Is there anything else to look at? Uh, I feel it. Ooh, this is the director's chair. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. It must be comfortable if they could sit in that all day. Hey, Nick. Take a look at that. Those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real live megaphone. Ready, Nick? Action. This girl is more troubled than I thought. <laughs> she doesn't know what a fucking megaphone is. Uh, what's this? It's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during the filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I want to be the director. Or maybe the steel samurai. I think she's being serious. Uh, there is... Wow, look at the camera. Yeah, don't touch it. Ah, uh, that just goes unimpeded. I guess Penny is like, whatever, she could touch it now, I don't care. Looks like the backdrop of his first stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain. Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Oh, right! Oh, yeah, that makes tons of sense. Okay, I'm going now. Hey, what? Gone to. Hey, what up, ma'am? October 16th, Global Studios main gate. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Tell us about the fucking assistant claim. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? 
<sighs> Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Uh, you know, no one. Oh, you better tell me, and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just asked, talking to the assistant in Studio One. Well, way to drill her under the bus, Maya. Wow. Her? She's not even a full-time employee! How oh, you youngins are like that nowadays, running your tomorrows, staying well with nah, 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 respecting your elders. I hate all of you. I think she went to go get her social security check. All right, she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can can without her looking over our shoulders. It's fucked up, Maya. You drew that lady under the bus just to do this. Good job. You'll make a fine lawyer one day, Maya. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we could see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yeah, yeah, try it. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. Those birds are loud as fuck. <laughs> uh, they're louder than the beeps of the text. One, that's when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Uh, I don't fucking remember. I think it's 307 and There, entered. They put out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Uh, huh? How is this a picture of War Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Huh? Something's printed on the back. October 15th, 2 p.m. Photo number two. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. No, that's the only one in the computer. Powers? Question mark? Photo added to the court record. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, Nick! Can we just use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yes, that's what we're doing. Well, put... We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said! Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon, even though I did that once with the... Uh, Mr. Red White, and it was the only way to progress through the story, and then I got arrested, and then I got, uh, tried for murder. I, but then, you know, forget about that part. This is, this is the part where we don't reveal our hand too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. But you could be the next evil magistrate. Why do I have to be the villain? Hey, what? Max, it was just a joke. So are we done for today? That seems so. I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe he really is that security lady. To be continued. Da 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 da. Very happy jingle for murder. All right, time for trials. This feels like a type of trial that will take more than one day, but I don't know. See me how we don't even have a fucking suspect. Oh, oh, court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Uh, prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Prosecution will show that the court that at 2.30 p.m. October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. 
very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Ledgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call the most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. It's a great idea. This is a smart idea. He's like, why am I here? <laughs> why do you keep calling me? Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This is the employee area. The actors did a run through their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past security station, there's this gate, see? Past that are the studios with the headless mascot. And here it is, Studio One. It's seen in the murder where the body was found. Now on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. Victim, Jack Hammer. Defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All production staff were, at, were in the employee area until noon. Do -do 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 -do. After lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went in, went to Studio One. Right, up. and then at 1 p.m., security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Ooh. So from 1 to 5, the killer uh, went in there, did his job. Obviously around too dirty. Time of death was too dirty. Samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's case in brief. You want like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? No, we got this. I think you can probably remember that. So the mur murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. A samurai spear has been added. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question, and that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Hey, what up? <laughs> Will the witness declare her name? Um... Why aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. What the fuck? Shut your name, please! <laughs> He's just taking her back. Oh, dearie, no need for, me, for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. <laughs> your name, please! Jedworf has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. When the old bag, dearie. That's your real name? Oh, oh my god. Oh, and it was Captain Class Old Bag. I cannot. Please calm down. Oh, objection. I object to the witness's talkativeness. Why did you call her? Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. How is Gaius getting to the good part, dearie? That, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna say that for every character. That's your real name in this fucking game. Can't just add someone that bumpy. I think we can on trial. <laughs> Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Oh, whoops, that was not my accent. You say I was. What the fuck is you say? <laughs> And get to the scene of the to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. I feel an old black an old black Salander going on in here. It's, you know, I have no issues with her except for the fact that that is her name. You know your stuff, theory. You may begin your testimony. And also, it's it's possible that she murdered somebody, or at least is lying. I don't know. 
She is sure one hell of an old bag. What is this account? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I well, I had some errands to run that morning. Wait a minute. No, oh, wait, oh wait, I can't do anything yet. I have to just listen. Anyway, it was at 1 when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there. And he was headed, heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You know, Metacall Call Saul, there's a moment where uh, Saul basically, like, brings a fake uh, defendant and is like, So it's this person right here who did it, right? And it's like, yeah. And he's like, well, that is not the defendant. That obviously my defendant is right in the back of the room. I should have just done that. She would not have gotten it. Uh-huh. What are your errands? What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. It's a question. <laughs> Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know. Uh, observing? Were you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. <laughs> anyway, I always watch hammers run, Drews. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I I want to see his steel samurai run, Drew, too. You could put being a spirit medium and, and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, it was at one when I got to the guard station. Uh... Okay. That's at the main gate. Then until five. Were you? Did you just go to the bathroom? Uh, take a snack? Come on. From one to five, that's a long time. So you were watching there with the whole time. No bricks. Not even a second. Of course! I'm a professional. You know, you literally just told us that you weren't there for like a bit. Are oh, you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time. Snipper whapper. Did you? Is that an insult? Old Windback is losing it, Nick. Why did you raise an objection? So the witness was on duty during the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? And the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Yes. Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. With power. It's that man right there. Let's press this one. And then we'll present the evidence. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Got wax in your sonny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, some to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. Or was it? No, I can't present it here. Yeah, take, take this photo here. Objection. Objection. Let me get this straight, Mr. Uh, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Hmm. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Nero Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Can your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? And you can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't! <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
So how's that Samurai Verde? Second? What? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, well, I mean, I, I wonder. See, even he, even Edgeworth is like, I, no, that's not, no, no. In the chat. Oh, yes. She's been here for a while. <laughs> I was, it was just weird because she fucking said it right as they showed the photo. I was like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I sound so hostile. I was like, oh, it's Verde. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Obviously, someone could have dressed up as him. I I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! That we can clear this all. <clears throat> no one in his court is accusing you of that, Miss uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in the photo is. Is Mr. Will Powers to you? Huh. He knows the old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. <laughs> the prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. <laughs> oh, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your poof done. That is, that's just the way I talk. Yeah, he does have that, that mannerism. It's, you know, that's how it is. It's fine. I never say anything. I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of his, of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I know. Knew it was Powers. Happy. Um. So we had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Red, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. That sounded almost villainous. Uh... Trip and fall. Okay. Let's, let's talk about this trip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes! And to think he's supposed to be the seal samurai. What a laugh. He sprayed his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You, you helped him make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. L let's just skip over that part, shall we? What the hell does that happen? That's not medical. Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Ms. Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. A big mat. Wait a minute, what prop? What prop did he break? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there to duct tape and fix it. That strikes me as significant detail. I'll write this down in the court record. The murder weapon. A break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Did you know? Have we not been able to see that? Alright, uh, whatever. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Oh, wait. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Uh, um... Actually, well... We couldn't find it. 
we're looking though. Mm -mm. Anyway, that's not important. I'm pretty sure it's pretty important. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes? And it is clearly clear that this person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Willpowers. Mm, I suppose that's right. You sure, Your Honor? No, it's not clear at all. We can object to this. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that the photo shows the seal samurai. No in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Mm -hmm. The defense has a point. Already so nice. She already forgives second. Good, good on you for that. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera would have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Allow me to remove that doubt from your mind. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Witness's account continued. The time of poor old Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So no one else went to that studio. It would have to be Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. That is true. Uh... Since Will Powers in a suit. You absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sunny. Nothing. Nobody suspicious looking past by at all. All right. You would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy? He is kind of edgy. Oh, Windbag sure has balls. <laughs> or, well, you know what I mean. Old Windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. Uh-huh. All right. Maybe I need to look at something. Cause... Guide map. Card key. Let's track this photo. Dragging a leg in the Steel Samurai outfit with the spear. Duck tip. Uh huh. Why don't we press this? Why not? How do you know that? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. Ugh, see, Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. Well, we keep saying, are you sure it was him? But, uh... What about this guide map? The gate, the dressing rooms. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Why don't we press this? No, we've already pressed this before. Well, this is no fail state unless I keep uh, unless I would keep losing uh, health. That would suck. 
No, why don't we just present this? Because it's not powers. Objection. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So when anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from your hole in the ground. Oh, from a hole in the ground. <laughs> right. Anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. The very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words 2 p.m. Photo number two. Even I know it, that it means it was at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo th on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it, w if it really was the only photo? Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Ah, that makes sense! And that means the first photo must have been of the potential actual murderer, or at least somebody passed by. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one but two people went to the studio that day. If there was only data for one of the photos, who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone would access the security lady herself. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Flipper Snapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes. That's what it would seem to me. Can the witness explain this to the court? Uh, ahem. I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. What? B believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Shouldn't be insulting your own prosecution, lawyer. Hyper snapper. Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, that's right. I. I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Uh, well, yes. I suppose you could put it that way. Then who was it? I see. Your testimony, please. The other person. Every day after finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. A uh, personal question. What is it? I go to the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I draw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember drawing out one photo that day. Miss Oldback! This is the first time I've heard of this. <laughs> He's like, come on. How'd you get used to the, the sound of hearing your own voice? Uh, I don't know. You just get used to it after a while. It's like, whatever. It's like, at first, I'm like, ah, sounds terrible. But then I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I guess that's my voice. Fuck it. You do it enough, you just get used to it. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please explain the begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> uh-huh. Checking the photos. I don't think I can do it. 
No, it's fine. We all have weird voices. It's okay. Second. You can power on Drew. Uh... Might be a useful tactic to remember for use in future career as a windbag. The erased photo, right. Oh, yeah, press that on that. Okay, what is the photo? What, what did it look like? How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces for the most part. For the most part. This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking photo. Looking Will Powers' photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it now, I remember drawing a photo one day. Uh huh. Yeah, what is the photo? What, 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 photo? what does it look like? Well, who in the heck was in the photo that you erased? Huh. A fanboy. A fanboy? Steel samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. I get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. But wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Oh, I saw that. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. They come into the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and, and they're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids? So in the photo that you erased, it was a boy. Probably second or third grade. What? Order! Order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was a seal samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Well, we've solved the case, everybody. The second and third grader did it. They murdered the steel samurai. Case closed, everyone. Let's go home. Oh, yes. Well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade, hmm? I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It'd be... It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Well, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and prosecution to consider the new information. No forgetting vital information this time. All right, for recesses. All right. Hang on. I got a... The curtain that was uh, blocking the light. It's fallen down in front of my air conditioner and it's getting hot if it does that. Let me just move it out of the way. Hang on. Oh boy, all right. Also need water there. I may have to get more though later. Because the bottle is now empty. Well, whatever. No, I'll, I'll, I'll get that later, it's fine. Because, oh boy, it's just really hot. It's finally starting to be summer. It's annoying. 
I was talking about getting a new air conditioner because it's like very loud. And while you actually, uh, thanks to the, the magic of audio filters on OBS, you cannot hear the air conditioner. And if you can, it's probably very low. But man, when I'm playing with my friends, whether it's Apex or just talking to them in, in PlayStation parties, you can. You can hear it. It is so loud. And I also just can't even hear my phone. So it's very annoying to, to deal with. Also, Mr. Powers, you didn't get on the witness stand. They're probably going to put you on there. It's going to be bad. But we, we'll, we'll get you this, Mr. Powers. Don't, don't you bet. We'll, we'll do this. Yeah. Yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio. Yeah, but I don't like using my headphones all the time. But I, I see that, yeah. I, I, I do. I probably will use those more. I probably need a new air conditioner as well because this is very old air conditioner. I, I didn't go to the studio. I, I was sleeping, honest. So who knows the Steel Samurai? So who was the Steel Samurai in the security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should have taken better, better care of your stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Don't you, you do realize you have fan, fanatics, right? So where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are you going to- what are we going to do? First, we play for more time. Start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. Ah, boy. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. That was a fun recess. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution thoughts, prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. There's still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for the verdict of guilty for the defendant of Mr. Will Powers. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed the crime. Order! Interesting. Just hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So? Who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? So we have three uh, suspects. Assistant girl, grade school boy, security lady. <sighs> she, just, she seems so nice, but it's possible she could have murdered them. We don't know where she was at the time. But there's a great that can go in. Hmm. Really, the only person we can accuse is the lady. Because she's the one who saw everything. So we have to go for the security lady. Sadly. I don't think she did it. Now that I think about it, it's probably somebody we have not met yet. But I mean, we have to go for her anyway. It was the security lady. Wendy Oldbag. Oh! <gasps> Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the, this that morning's injury. 
Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. It was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady old bag. What? what? Whippersnapper. Sorry. Listen, I don't think you did it either, but uh, we need more time. Order. Order. Is this true old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. But why would she go to the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in the costume, she could point the finger to Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah. Right here, Sherlock comes too, baby. Let's go. Like, no, Phoenix, that's in the, that's in the past. With Herlock Sholmes. Huh? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution, yeah, prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Oh, I the prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. That's not good for her. Uh, what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there and do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. <sighs> I don't know. Hmm. If we press further, we would be continuously going at this lady. Who I don't actually think did it. But we could give her a break, and then slowly move... We're basically filibustering right now. Uh, let's give the gan Granny a break right now. This is those kind of make it look like she's a killer. Funny, I feel bad for her all of a sudden. <laughs> I mean, I am accusing a woman of murder, who I don't think actually did it. So yeah, I would feel bad too. Mm. It's true that the witness could conceivably have committed the crime. Yet we must not forget that the victim was an action hero. As formidable as her personality may be, I doubt she'd be strong enough. Uh-oh. If he removes her from consideration, that means Mr. Powers is... It. Sorry, Windbag, but I don't have a choice. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but, why would I do something so horrible to poor old Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks clear motive, too. Uh, indeed. That did it. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. I hope. That's just how the law works. You know how it goes. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? You gonna start accusing a kid? The boy! The one whose photo I erased? He's only a grade school adult, as you said! Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin an old man in 10 seconds tops. Uh, I don't, yeah, I think you and that boy are very different. Hmm, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it be nice so kids and mean to el <laughs> your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof! Indeed. Well, let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. Uh... Oh, the card key. Yeah. Don't worry to get the card key. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well... Would the witness care to comment on this? Ah! The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. 
This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss uh, Wendy. What was her last name? What was her name? Uh, something old bag, Your Honor. <sighs> then the prosecution. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't even remember his own, her own name. Then the prosecution will look further into this uh, old bag before we continue. That is all. Court adjourned. Hooray for the justice system! Wait a second! I'm not gonna sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. I mean, he banged the gavel. I think it's over. We can go home today. You could do this tomorrow. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. This old bag. What is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Y huh? You mean it was an Edgeworth who told her not to talk? It's probably the... It's probably Gumshoe. Well, testify! My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. Oh, it's uh, Global Studios. There were, um, some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? They told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Oh, this could get her fired. This old bag! This is crucial information! Why did you keep this from the court until now? And you've been listening? They told me to shut my trap. And I always do what I'm told. Uh-huh. No. This isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old back. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. I need a drink. Just tell me about the fucking people here. Was well, it like some big wigs or something? Who were they? Who were these people? Well, the director, and the producer, for starters. The director? <sighs> we should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. We should probably ask about that. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? It's Studio 2 trailer. I knew Studio 2 was important. They didn't talk about it deliberately, but it's on the fucking map. It's studio 2? There was a Studio 2? <laughs> Phoenix! It's on the map! Well, if you look at the guide map. Here it is! They're very hard to miss! Go to the gate, and all the way to the left. The path with the monkey's head was falling over. Oh, that, that's Phoenix. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Let's continue, why not? They said I had nothing to do with it. How did you... how? How can they assume that? This old bag. This is a trial for murder. I don't give a shit. <laughs> They're like, oh no, we didn't have anything to do with it. Just believe us. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And uh, they give me a little bonus on the side. Oh my god. <laughs> they gave me a little bonus. That was pretty convincing. The money, it spoke to me. So you got your bonus and you still talked. Uh, I feel like you're gonna fire her. Let's just see what else we can get from her. Mm -hmm. Pretend they hadn't been to the studios that day. Uh, or pretend like they were actually in the studio. Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. 
That's very suspicious. I feel sorry for Edgeworth. Almost. She really left him hanging on this one. Well, there's a lot more suspects now, I guess. That's it. Nick, I guess pressing her was the right thing to do. When old Winback, she sure that likes keeping secrets. Let's get as much information as we can. Oh, uh, why? So you were told not to talk, right? That's right. By the studio and TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? <laughs> Don't be too hard yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. Uh-huh. Nothing to do with it. Just pretend. Them. Who were these people? Right. Director and producer. I think that's it. I think this is the only information we needed, to be honest. And then we could just sort of stop here. Let's take a break. We have learned there were others in Global Studios on the day in question. The director and producer and there are some bigwigs were all present. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I, to I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Mm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people who have just been told of. <laughs> He's like, God fucking damn it, why? I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. Hooray! Let's go for some hamburgers. Actually, I got some Pringles chips here, so I'm going to open them right now. Why not? Munch on these. Mute my mic while I do this. I'm burying the sour cream and onion. So yeah, I got those. It would either be that or the uh uh cheddar cheese and sour cream and onion. Whatever the flavor is called. It's either those two flavors I get. But yeah, I got sour cream and onion. Alright, it's one oh four PM. What did this start at nine AM? It's been five hours, damn. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Ah, uh, really? It's nothing. Oh, oh, or should I say? Well, we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So, now as much as to get material for the cross examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windback? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Uh, neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Uh, poor old Windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, weed or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to the visit you soon. Th thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> to be continued. Now we gotta get whole new witnesses. Yeah, pretty much. I, I don't think anyone... I mean, it could be Penny, maybe. But she didn't know about the fucking broken leg. So I would 
doubt it. And I feel like the person in the outfit is the murderer, so. Ew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. <sighs> Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess it really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios. Yeah, let's move already. The main gate. Oh, it was actually things we could have talked about. Oh, well, it's all well too late. It's fine. No one's here. Right. Now that we have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! In the guard station. Look, she left her donuts. But I wasn't going to eat them. Right. Actually, I guess we could ask her some questions. Here. Oh, we go to the detention center? She's over there. Actually, yeah, let's go back. Do you have any things, what to do? Anything we should do? What do I? Uh, why don't we just, we do what you just said? Get this scoop on the director and the producer. All right. No point hanging out here. That's what I've been saying. Let's get to the studios. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. That's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. Right. Okay, that was a waste of my time. Uh... Employee area. They could be there. October 18th, Galupa Studios. Employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I know. I'm not good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and... Backdrops, right? Uh, right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh! Oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldback. Oh man, fantastic. You're the new security lady. Right. See you later then. Good luck with your investigation. Oh, there's the, uh... Blockage. So, the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came through the drain. So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey, Nick. That drain's covered up. The boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah. I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though. Don't you? What, you want to rip the gear grate off? Really, Nick? We can't? Whoa, she's serious. Uh-oh. Rip it open? Leave it be. Aw, oh, decision. What should we do, chat? Does this have any bearing on the story whatsoever to just rip this perfectly good-looking cardboard blockage with duct tape? I'm leaning towards ripping it open, to be quite honest, to see what happens. But it's also very mean to Penny. Mm, nah, fuck it. Well, I guess some things were just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Here! Here. That should make the kids happy. Ah, the things we do. Drain grade is off. And I know who did it. How the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live 
so free of guilt. <laughs> That's right. Oh god. Well, looks like one of those electric powered bicycles. Ah, we talked about the bicycle already. I feel like there's nothing else to talk about in this area. They still haven't cleaned this up? No, but they still haven't cleaned it up, though. Like, huh? We're not thieves. We did take the card key. We, we borrowed that. There's a difference. Did we return the card key? Is it in our... We still have that. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Samurai soda. Never mind. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to look at other than we just ripped off a grate. Oh, hello. Oh, ho! You look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, we also have uh, questions. Studios. So how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. Oh, that's why the, the food's been out there. Okay. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them from the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? That's crazy. Why is there actually important to the case? That'd be funny. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well... I don't think there's that many of them. But I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. So, the director, producers, everybody else. I heard something at the trial today. They said the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio here had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. <laughs> or the producer, really. The producers are a real star here. She saved the studios from the brick of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Outside Studio One. Let's go. Number 18th, Studio One entrance. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe was in here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down the path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. To Studio 2. Looks very plain except for that furnace. That you could get rid of evidence, and there's also still more plates that they can't get rid of. This place is deserted. Nick! N Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Uh, hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging, barging in, but, uh... Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. We need a key. I'm just gonna take the key right now. Hang on. It looks like it's been turned off today. Back there. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. Security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key for that, that trailer. Maybe next time. We can't... Uh, I guess we have to just find a way to get her out of here. Hmm. Hey, we should move to Studio One then. Maybe we'll find a way. So 
Library Team Studio One. I don't wanna really be wanna be in here. Yeah, that's immersing. I'm gonna go someplace else, Nick. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't think there's anything. Director's chair. No. All right. Let's go back. Uh, is there anything else in Studio 2? There's food. Looks like two people eat here. There's nothing left on the plates. It's the director and the producer, probably. What's up with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. I kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it would run fine. Let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. You don't have a license? Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Oh, see? Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Is it special? Look. Good old Nick here. He went to law school. He deserves to show off a bit. An incinerator. Apparently, they just put this one in. So apparently, it's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Lawyering does take a lot of time. Even in Better Call Saul, Jimmy McGill, he went to the University of Samoa. It's uh not the most high-end university, but it still took a lot of time to pass that bar. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to, else to examine. We should probably go talk to the lady who's in custody. Because of us. Let's see. We can, yeah, detention center. Let's go talk to her. Or no, we're talking to Will Powers, actually. Never mind. Oh, Mr. Wright. Thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, you have any leads on what might get us in the right direction? Uh, sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. Can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. <laughs> yes. The fanboy, do you know him? Do you, uh, fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. The security lady's pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, did she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run, Drew? Y yes Yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and Evil Magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, well, just assume you asked us to keep quiet. Will. Will, listen to me. Listen to me. I am your attorney. We, you and I have attorney-client privilege. You could tell me literally anything. You could tell me you did it, and I can't say anything. You could say anything to me, Will. Please. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer. Fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I, I see. Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? N no, I sure hope not. Oh boy. Uh, oh yeah, thanks for the card key. Uh, we found this card key in your dressing room. Oh, that's mine, yes. Can people outside the studios get these cards? I don't think so. Even I have to return the card. Once the show's done filming, that is. Huh. So no one else can go into Studio One. Not even that, that boy. Can I present the murder weapon? Regarding the murder weapon, yes? Is it heavy? That's beer? It's pretty hefty, yeah. 
I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. I'm still taking the fact that these motherfuckers put a real ass spear that can kill people. Unless. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run drill. Oh yes, I goofed on a round kick, you see. I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away though. Wait, duct tape. Me hurt. Your leg. Guarding this photograph. Yes. This really, truly, absolutely isn't you, right? We're right. <laughs> I was sleeping in my dressing room the whole time, honest. But who else could have worn it? Costume was in the dre your dressing room? Yes. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was asleep. Ooh. That's one thing else to present to him. Talk to him about everything. I am stuck now. Maybe I should present her with things. Um, did you duct tape this? Say, you work with props, right? About that murder weapon. You mean the samurai spear? Yes, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you'd have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? Could you take a look at this? That's Mr. Powers. That's Mr. Powers. Why is he dragging his leg like that? What is this anyway? It's like she didn't know about the photo or the injury that morning. Never mind. Alright, so she really doesn't know about the injury. That's what we know. She probably couldn't done, couldn't have done it. Probably. Uh, unless there's something we don't know. Card key! Tell us about these card keys. Wow, they gave a lawyer one of those card keys? Well, I'm sort of borrowing it. I see. You better be careful not to lose that. They're very strict about those card keys here. Guess they're pretty good at keeping these out of outsider's hands. Thanks, I'll be careful. I mean, I stole one. I mean, borrowed one. Uh, the guide map. Do you know what a guide map is? Alright. Alright, that's it. Give me the keys. Give me the key over there. I want to look at the keys. What was this? Overhead map at the studios. Hmm. There has to be a way to get her to either leave or ask for the key. Wait. Or you check that. Mm. Going back to Studio 2. Fuck it. We can't go in because there's trailer door. It's locked. The key's probably in the security guard station. A closer expression, inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is probably some temporary film set. These look like the materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. Uh, might as well. Hmm. Well, we didn't examine the camera that much, but we already know about the camera. Two pictures on the day of the murder before the actual time of death. One of them was a steel samurai, the other was a grade school boy. Doesn't seem to be switched on today. Serial mascot. Apparently it's a monkey of some kind. Why don't they put his head back on? Maybe we should ask the assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. And you probably need to crane to move that thing. Probably so. Although, we could ask her. Maybe she, she'll be busy fixing this.
Except we... It's the only thing else we can ask. Main entrance to the studios. They probably have a police officer on patrol out there. Just a cursor was faster. to use something on something. The only two people I can interact with is her and, uh, Will. Um. Keep coming back here. Unless there is a kid hiding back here or something. What is this back here? Must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Near old castle. Wait, the crate. The crate used to cover the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. Maybe something in his dressing room that we missed. Oh, we never even went in here. Wow, that's funny. What the fuck? What did you do? Send me out. Ah. Uh. Thanks for coming by, everyone. Uh, it's been a good time. I'm gonna go. I don't need to. I don't need to play this game anymore. Uh, we're ending the stream forever. The fuck? Who the fuck is this? Um, uh, we, uh, wait, first, who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lemurs. How could you not know a great salmonella? And, oh my god. What? I mean, elite shows. The Steel Samurai might. RTFC. Need the phone credits. Really? Your da Salmonella? Who is Salmonella? I'm sorry. I just. You look so. Sorry. No. No, quite alright. Really. It's fine. Well, Salmonella? What is it? You know, on closer expansion? <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> what is this? What is happening? Oh no, he's, he's, he's his tongue. I didn't even notice that. No. Hot, hot, hot. Hey, do you do lots of cosplay? Cause that costume rock swords. Drool. Please don't let me put him on the witness stand, please. Rock sword? What? Hey, you're drooling. Huh? <laughs> Low buffer overrun. What the f I don't even know what that means. You've triggered my creative powers. Yes. Yes, it's coming to me, Pink Princess. What is this music? You're a real streamer, Buppy, am I? Uh, I don't have straight face. It's just the way I'm reading this. <laughs> oh my god. The sequel to Steel Samurai, Pink Princess Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. What? This is... Oh, okay. 
Ruffle <laughs> me out. Pink princess? Why is it gotta be little old Tokyo? That is true. Why is it gotta be that? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. <laughs> nah, we could just leave. I don't think he has anything important to talk to us about. But sadly, we have to talk to him. The day of the crime, what were you here? Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. As Q Lady told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had run through for the action scene in the morning. I also just realized that this person is indeed... Uh... Works here. Not a fanboy. They just work here. I just, I've been, I've, I've, just, I've been drawn aback by everything that this person represents, so I just did not expect that. <laughs> then the meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. Heh, <laughs> I was so busy, I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. Sad face. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah. Suck sores, I hate missing out on food. Nick? What does suck sores mean? We'll figure out when you're older. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four. With the producer. And some big wicks from the neck. Now, Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. So I, I regrettably don't think you did it. Even though I want you to. If he's telling the truth, that means that meeting gives him an alibi. So the producer. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean the Vasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary though. <laughs> she brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the steel samurai. So yeah, you are indeed the director. How do they take you seriously? I don't even you had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. The whole time. The bigwigs. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? All oh, the boss over at Network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into the limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. <laughs> were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers! Uh, sounds like they are... They'd all be reliable witnesses. How many witnesses are gonna be in this goddamn case? Uh... Examine this. Cosmetics. The bag. What? I leave us alone. Wolfman found on Mars. I'll have to buy that issue. What? Uh, buh, buh, buh. you can present him some things. This is the samurai spear. Can you wield this? Try, try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. You are the director. Why are you staring at me like that? My, I think we should go. I want to buy this. This is WP, right? How do you know? Well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. All oh, right, the director would know about the injury. He was there. This motherfucker really is a director. All right. Skirt key. You have one, right? No. Time of death, too dirty. The spear's not interesting to you. What with this guide map? Nope. All right. Like that's everything I need to talk to you about. You have nothing else to... Uh... Alright, I'm gonna move on. God. Oh my god, they let you out! What the fuck? Aha! You again! <laughs> How rude acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. 
Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume, told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule her out. Rule out her being the murderer, so... Anyway. Notice, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. <laughs> you sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now! One, two, three, hmm? This lady's too much. What about the director? Tell me about them. About the director, the one who was uh, here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, I think she's losing it. Okay, she's ready to tackle the staff and crew. Fantastic. Um, about the kid you saw you the other day. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, look at her eyes, she's serious! She's gonna tackle a kid. Oh, didn't mean to press that again. Uh... She's about ready to commit assault on a child. Um, I'm gonna take the keys right now, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. You can see the computer. Hey! No touching! Guess I better investigate there later. Uh... Well, things have progressed, obviously. Um, we can present things to her now. So, you fixed this, right? I have a feeling she's not going to respond well to anything I show her now. Okay, so don't show her anything. Fantastic. We gotta move on to somewhere else. Let's go to, uh... Back to the employee area. Maybe someone... No, what the... And here he is! Hey! Hey! Hey, wait! I bet he came in right through that drain. Hey, um... Kitty out. What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you are a kid. What if you're a little brat? There's no way to talk to an adult. It's sport and kitty out. What, what, <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty, sh she's pretty sharp. And pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackens. Call me Kitty again, and I'll cut you down. Will you stand, evildoer? <laughs> look at this, look at this kid. <laughs> He's got his own sword. He obviously murdered the... The, the evil magistrate with that sword. Kids the murderer. I'm telling you. It's like, like this one, hang on. Oh, yeah. True weeb right here. We get we get all types <laughs> types today. Uh, let's talk to this kid. Steel Samurai. You're a fan of the Steel Samurai. How dare you order that name, evil doer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ha! Ha! You can't fool me! Okay then, what's the last line they s said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! <laughs> Easy. Rock some frog with that? Huh, not bad, kitty -o. What the fuck is kitty -o mean? Watch it! What are they doing? What happened? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Just puffing his cheeks up like no, I'm not gonna talk to you. You suck. You were here, weren't you? Please talk to me. Did you see anything? <laughs> uh He always the steel samurai always wins. Always! Yeah, I saw him! I saw everything! W what? But no way I'm telling you losers! But wait! Let me go! 
and he's gone. So he probably saw the murder happen. Um, possibly. He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was this sitting here, I wonder? Sleeping pills? <gasps> he fell asleep on purpose! This has been planned! Oh my god, this changes a lot. That was a slight spur of the moment thing. Oh, well, I mean, it was always kind of planned, but like... This was even more planned than I thought. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Mm. Back to the main gate. Huh? Where's that old windbag? I ought to virtually leave her post. N Nick, that was her. Stop! Whippersnapper! Yeah, it sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Notch. Uh oh. She tripped. My shoe looks happy. Alright, now we can take the key. Hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this. Right, Nick? We're a terrible influence. To studio number two. Well, after the director, to be quite honest, I, I don't know. I don't know what it, what the producer would look like to make me just even imagine anything that could top that. But we're gonna find out. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. Cause I'm assuming the producer is in here, and maybe they're not dead. I doubt it. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, not that eager. <laughs> Into the trailer. So, we got uh, the Singing Samurai, Samurai Summer, Dynamite Samurai, oh man. Got some uh, whiteboard here. We got a big energy drink bottle of um, green piss over there. Uh, October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Uh this lady looks, um, quite chill. She's fucking stoned out of her mind. <laughs> so someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Um, we're, we're WP's lawyers. You're a gamer, you should know that. Oh yeah, you're right. It's Monster Energy Drink or that G Fuel stuff. I see. And, uh, who might you... D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. Yes, she is. She's very beautiful. Goodness. She's got a butterfly brooch. Uh, an earring. With little dangly things. That's a big earring. Alright. Might as well start talking. Day of the crime. What were you doing? I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Mi Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A, a script? Were you looking for a script? Or are you looking for one right now? The Seal Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. I'm going to assume she wants us to find the script until she talks to us about it. We're getting nowhere fast. What about the Seal Samurai? Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Seal Samurai. <laughs> the music started once we said that, and then she just has no energy. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the greatest answer. 
Holy shit. That's not what we mean. That's all I have to say about that. Lady, you're, you're, you're jumping up on the suspect list, to be quite honest with you. You are literally avoiding every question I'm asking. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. The director. About the director. Salmonella, was it? Trying to forget him already, but I need you to talk to me about him. What are, um, exactly is his role here? <sighs> Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick, are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. <laughs> Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there some place else we have to check? Y yeah. Wait. Y yes? If you see Manila, give him this. Well, why do we have to do your errands? She's just staring us down. That was a good... No, she... she it's a good argument, to be quite honest. I, I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we have to give him, give it to him if we see him. Memo reads, bring me the script for episode 13. I'm not even going to bother giving her things. She's not going to say anything until I give her, give him the script. So, yeah. Uh, the main gate. Move over to the employee area. Then we move over into his dressing room. Hey, man! Give me a script. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? What? Bring me a script episode. Episode 13! Where did I put that one? Ugh. I must have left it somewhere. Oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Ah, oh, fantastic. We now have to go and look for a script. What about that bed? Looks like someone's been sleeping here. Did he probably sit take a nap here like he said? Or this Salmonella here has been taking a nap in Mr. Will Powers' room? I have no idea. To the employee area. It could probably be in front of Studio 2. Uh, Salmon? No. He was here before, though. I don't see any script. Either Studio 2 or... What is this? You didn't waste time coming in either. Talking about cause and effect. Probably not here. Okay, so in Studio 2 or Studio 1. Let's try Studio 2 first. It was here before. Um, places I've already checked, though. It's on the furnace. It's not over here. Not, maybe in the bushes here. Some flowers here. Oh, they're so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. One, wait a minute. One of the fences is bent out of shape. That's odd. Maybe it's just like that. Maybe it's important. Who the hell knows? Uh, back at Studio One, maybe he, uh, to here. <sighs> Come on, the bushes. The trial, they said Studio Two was down this path. The monkey head is in the way, but we should be able to get by with no problem. The monkey head is real heavy. Well, it did knock that tree over when it fell. Both of these, the monkey head and the tree, felt that they had the murder, didn't they? Yeah, that's what the detective Gumshoe said. 
than the garbage. No, we have to go to Studio One. They were obviously in there for a reason. Wait, were they in there? No, they were... Hmm. Go back to see the car. That's what we need and get out of here, Nick. This bag looks... No, never mind. What about the ladder? Look, a ladder. Step ladder. There. Hey, look! No. The director. Maya. Uh, take a look around the chair for me, would you? Remember the script that the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it somewhere? <gasps> Aha! Found a Nick the script. Good work. Fantastic. All right. So now we can go do this. I head back. True adventure game puzzles by just looking at things and progressing. Wait, I, uh, I forgot we could just move into the trailer now. Here you go. Here's the script. It looks disgusting for some reason. I don't really want to talk about it. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Uh, script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. <clears throat> Just you hold on. What's a big idea? What do you think you are anyway? And, and, and do you even know who we are? Powers lawyers? Uh, okay, well, you were paying attention to that. All right. Um, right. Am I a suspect? Yes, technically. N no, it's just, well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Y yes. Anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon? Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. I impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The, the path? Oh, the tree falling down, yeah. I'm not interested. Interesting. Blocked path. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Alright, that. One original name, Mr. Monkey. Oh, poor Mr. Monkey. Its head fell over on the... Over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Oh, we gotta, we gotta solve this technically a locked room scenario. Not, not technically, but I mean, you know. There was only a couple people who could go in there. Feasibly. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. Wh what It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd co uh, corroborate my story. But, but wait! What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. Too dirty. The time of the death? Very well. Come. Oh, we are we followed her here. That's Mr. Monkey. When it was broken, it announced the time in Ooks. Um, oh. <laughs> oh my god! Another fucking item in the case that can announce the fucking time. An ooks? 
One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. Man, at 12 o'clock, that must, that must get annoying real fast. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. <laughs> Laughs and Larry butts. He's haunting these cases even today. Nick! It stopped at 2.15. 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Man. Man, that autopsy report being really specific and like, yeah, died at 2.30 on the dot. Are, are they that specific? Can they be that specific in real life? I don't think so. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. The locks path to the scene of the crime between 2.15 and 4 p.m. Damn it. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. Sure doesn't look good. I guess we should head back to the office and plan out our strategy. Alright. Speaking of going to the office, I did see a, I did see a video of like... Uh, Phoenix Wright planning out the case. And it was an animated video. It was pretty funny. And he's just going through all this stuff. I was like, alright, here's a lamp with... A bloody lamp with my fingerprints on it. Uh, that will be useful. I don't know how any of this stuff will add up, but I mean, it'll help us in the case. And Maya asks, okay, um, do you know the victim's name? I was like, uh, do you even know your defendant's name? I was like, ah, it's you again? <laughs> it was a pretty good video. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. <gasps> Mia? Is that you? It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Oh man. What up, Mia? Let's see you again. What took you so long? I like how we were expecting her now. I was like, yeah, we were expecting you at some point. Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh wait, I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What do you mean, we have one lead? The boy, of course. That boy. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. Wh what? But no way I'm telling you losers. Oh no, he didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. I hope I was hoping one of these questions was going to be Mommy Mia or Chris Mia. Second. That's so true, you're right. So, what's the best thing to do from here? We need to get to the studio and talk to that boy. Any other ideas? So, do you have any ideas who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make that case yet. I've heard that phrase before. That's where Maya got it from. Alright. Back to the studio. <sighs> I'm assuming you caught him, right? Please tell me you have, and he's right here. Number 18th, Globus Studios, Bang it. Whoa, what's wrong? Whipper Snapper! She's been chasing that boy the whole time. When? When I catch him, I... I'm like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I got a hostage now, Whipper Snapper. A hostage. The fanboy, where is he? Um, what happened to the boy? If I see him again, I'll lay him flat. My, 
I'm a violent old lady. How do you know that we're in trouble? But you do not know about this violent old lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? <sighs> My heart. Oh, it feels so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? <sighs> yeah. When that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back. Or this one. Kind of hard to understand her with all the huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. This old bag might not. No! I'm catching that bite if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything that you might trade with her? A trade? Hmm. I wonder. No way, she want this. Hey, do you want this, uh, Samurai Spear? <laughs> oh, she's too busy to catch your breath to tell me anything. What about the trailer key? It's all bad. I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Okay. Just be sure to give it back. She's not demanding. She's not, she's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Want this empty bottle of sleeping balls? Maybe we have to find something out there. Probably. Alright, we move to the uh, place where the murder happened, I assume. Collection of expensive... If we broke one, we'd go bankrupt for sure. Coin to Maya. Looks incredibly fake, but I guess the kids don't mind. What's in here? Panel for reflecting light. I thought we were going to look in the little green box, but it's the panel only. The outline with Jack. Uh-huh. Maybe he was killed somewhere else and then put here. That's my guess. If there's very little blood stains. Maybe the spear really is fake. Because, I mean, it's a fucking prop spear. Would they really have a real spear in these fucking... In this television show production? Aww. We didn't really examine that room, did we? Oh. That's right. Wait a minute. Maybe we can give her this drink. So we'd have had that meeting. The documents... Paper cups scattered around. Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set costs. Can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. It's called authenticity. Yeah. Glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. I can't wait for Christmas. I've heard about Christmas. That one meme from this game. That's the only thing I know. Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. Poster looks like it's been hanging here for years. This is one of Maya's favorite movies. Maybe we should replace the poster in the office with this one. That would be kind of sad. Old movie poster, Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. It's in the garbage. I think in here there could be a clue. Seriously, I can't take this this drink. Maybe she wants it. Maybe she's tired. <laughs> no. We need apparently we need to trade something with her. I don't know what you would want. Apparently they just put this one in. Maybe back to the employee area.
Hang on. No, just don't want the spear. What about the car cube? And then give you this. Hey! That! Huh? You want this? You want this girl? Huh? Huh? That's a card. <gasps> Studio One. Right. Card key to Studio One. <sighs> I, I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. <laughs> he died. <laughs> I was his fan. You don't have your own card? Miss Old Bat. Yeah, wh what the fuck? Studio One is in my turf. <sighs> You'll let me borrow, borrow it then? I gave her the card key. Then I won't be able to get into Studio One. I will lend you the card key. Just give me the thing that you have. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. She's now calm. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even, deal? What is this? The Seal Samurai trading card? Ah, the hostage. A sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off to the studio. Hang on. What does it say about this? Trading card. Apparently, these are really popular with kids these days. Huh? Now we should, I assume, go to the employee area. That's where you would be, right? October 18th. Hey! Oh! Hey, you! Wait a sec! Phoenix. Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackens. I think he ran into the dressing room. To the dressing room! Please don't let the director be here. He should have been here somewhere. Found you. Damn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How did she? Hey there, would you mind helping us out, please? Uh, I'm Cody. Does he have a crush on her? Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Damn. I know, I, I feel that. I see how it is. Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Cody, here. I give you this, you give me info. That's how it works, buddy. Cody, this look familiar? Hey! My, you are! You are? Huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. The card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect skewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever. I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? What the? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than the plain ultra rare cards. Come on. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I have a feeling we're talking about stakes? I gotta go find a goddamn director. Well, I can't go back into Studio One, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure he's the only one who has it. Steel Samurai is so cool. Uh, I think he's the, um, the bomb. Huh. What would a lemur like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. I'm gonna... That will rip this card in front of you. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing! Mm, 
I gotta go bribe him. All right, fine. We will now move on to the finding the director. Because I'm assuming he's the only one who would know. It's gotta be somewhere along this path. Probably at Studio 2. We can't go back in Studio 1. He's probably here. Yep. Oh, hi. Uh, hello. What brings you here? Do you have the cards? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um. Yes? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little... Don't worry, don't, we don't talk about it. Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope, she's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Do you collect these cards? Do you know anything about this? <gasps> hey! Th that's a Steel Samurai trading card! I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah. A set of one of each card. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. That's it! That's the card I need! I need to know what I've been looking for! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might... I think I am. I need that card. <laughs> please, I beg you, please trade with me. I really hope you're not the killer. T -t trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I would trade you the ultra rare premium card. Trade me out, huh? Yes, it's a good deal for an ultra rare. Please. Phoenix. Can't you see she's desperate? <laughs> What's everybody getting so excited about? Trade. Okay. Really? Th thanks! Then this is for you. The ultra rare premium card. Steel Samurai collectible card. Very valuable. Yeah! And she goes! Oh my god. Does doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. And confused. But we did it. Hell yeah. How convenient. Nope. Nope, damn it. The map is a little weird in this game. And by that, I mean you basically go into certain areas because you have to move in a certain direction. It's a good song, I swear. Hey, buddy. Here you go. See this card? Yes. Ooh, that's it! The last whole rare card I need. Come on. Give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Wow, I've never seen him so eager. Right. Okay. How about a tread? John. I'll give you a samurai spear and draw in the evil magistrate. No, I don't want the fucking cards. Not that kind of trade. I want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. All right, fantastic. So, steel samurai. He's so cool. All oh, right, all right. I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions. At his life. I'm being lectured on life by a great school. <laughs> yeah, we just, we just really just helping out gotcha gamers, aren't we? You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh, me? Yeah! Oh, I am love to steal a samurai. So tell me, what's your favorite thing about the steel samurai? But the Steel Samurai is his kind nature, his fighting skills. Will Powers is acting. I like his acting. He's pretty great. Well, I haven't even seen a full episode of that dumb show. Actually, I'm kind of a fan of Will Powers. Whoa, that's totally hardcore. You're calling me hardcore? So what else do you like about him? Oh, don't tell me I have to keep this act up. Tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. I like his fighting skills, so pretty cool. Gotta think of something. I like it when he, uh, vanquishes his foes. Yeah! Wazam! 
Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. It's my fan album. Aw, oh, it's adorable. What the? It's all the pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. A stupid publicity stunts where they beat, e <laughs> beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. Never missed one. Perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? <laughs> How does she even know that? You're dead. You know. It's just, uh, maybe when Maya, Maya's asleep, she just possesses her for a bit and looks at, uh, looks on the online, you know, look, keeps up with the trends. Yeah, I took these with the digital camera. I got all that data home so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. It contains photos of every victory scene and every battle the Steel Samurai has won. That's when people always give big stuff to Mia. What a life! What happened? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Do you see anything unusual? Cody. Yes. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? That is true. We are fighting for justice. You have to help us fight for great justice too. I... I saw... I saw everything. Oh well, we might get something new, some useful information out of him yet. So, what exactly did you see? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? <laughs> I got here that day around 2... 2. I had come in through the woods out the back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe a uh, half hour or so. And I finally got to the studio after that. What is it, Cody? <gasps> the, the seal samurai killed the bad guy. He used the samurai spear just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast. I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but... It's so obvious that you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think you can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who... It could have been his will powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. What? I heard everything. God damn it. This boy is a key witness. And he's under police protection. Starting now. Come on, son. You gotta rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No! I ain't going. Ah! That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Mia? Well, um... I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Excuse me? Whoa, 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 no! Come to try tomorrow. Please, I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Dude wouldn't hurt him a fly. That end, I feel like Phoenix usually doesn't get people who are he's defending who are guilty. Although, you know, maybe one day they'll, they'll mix it up. But I believe he's innocent. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. 
to be continued. Oh my god. Oh my god. So long. Such a long, exhaustive investigation, but you're near, I assume, the end. Day three, the trial. All right. And that's it for the stream because I, oh my, I'm tired. And it's already like nine o'clock. And uh, yeah, we've been going for quite a while. Uh, but uh, that is it. I want to thank the people for coming by. Uh, it has been fun. Thank you for chatting, everybody. Um, it, this is great. It's exciting. We're about to get the, the conclusion to the the, the third trial. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's, it. that's it for today. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Yes. Thank you for coming, Verde. Seconds. It has been fun. See ya. I'm, I'm excited for the trial. So yeah. See ya.